Sunday today. I thought I'll have my coffee outside and then record the um, intro for the video that you're about to watch. Mm. I put a little bit of caramel on this coffee and it tastes so good. I haven't had my coffee done in a mocha pot in a long time. Oh, I think I'll go back to mocha pot for a while now. Um, it just reminded me how good it is. I've been doing quite a bit of stuff since the last video and I've just been keeping the clips and now I'm just compiling it all into this um, vlog. As I said before, today is Sunday and I made my edible cookie cups yesterday. I made 14 of them. Um, I'm going to take it to work and we're going to have our Esprooki session. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, you probably don't because I've never mentioned it in this vlog before. I make this um, edible cookie cups and then you line it with chocolate on the inside so it's waterproof and then you pour espresso coffee or milk in it and then you can drink it and then take a bite off the cups and then eat it. The first time I did it, it was for the kids. They love it. Um, but this Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, I'm going to bring my edible cookie cups and then have it um, after our team meeting. That should be good. I'm looking forward to that. Um, this time I make the cookie cups a little bit better though. There's no chance of spillage because sometimes if you don't line the inside with enough chocolate, the coffee will seep through <laughs> um, and then you ended up with um, coffee spilled down your um, chin and stuff. So this time I make sure that it's actually reinforced. <laughs> What else is in this video? Um, I've decorated my house with Halloween. I didn't go overboard this time. Um, I just used whatever I have. Didn't buy new things apart from the cushion and the blanket that you already saw on the, on the previous video. So yeah, that's what I did. I decorated my house. We also have a family dinner with kids and their partners. I Todd cooked them prawn fettuccine which is very very good what else did i do in this vlog oh yeah um i also did um, something a bit different that i've never done in this um channel before i film uh, me putting my makeup on i'm not an expert in makeup i, I watch a lot of tutorial in the past but when it comes to doing it to my own face it's another story <laughs> I blame it all on poor eyesight. As you get older, your eyesight is not so good. And it's, it's very hard to put makeup on when you can't see properly. So that's basically the summary of what you're gonna watch on this video. And I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, bye. Okay, I don't dry it fully. My hair's still very damp, but it's not drenched. It's my new hair tools, I bought this from Amazon, and it's only $29, less than $30. Um, it's a hot electric brush. I kind of like it. I've been using it every day, actually. Um, I think you can buy an expensive version of this, uh, made by Revlon, um, where they have the, the plate made out of titanium. I don't like the price plus I don't really like how it's going to heat up my hair because I'm going to use it almost every day. So I thought since this is only less than $30, I'll just get this and try it and see how I go. And so far I like it.
it looks like. I, I like it. It gives me a lot of volume because my hair is very, very fine and I don't have a lot of it. Before I bought that hot hairbrush tools, um, I used to use this. So just a normal hairdryer and a round brush. Um, for some reason, this, this is, used to work. I used to be happy with my hair too. But that is, makes it so much easier, especially when you're doing the, the top section of your hair. And also I like how much volume it gives. Maybe because it's easier to use, I was able to concentrate on placing the brush, um, how the hairdresser does it, I don't know. Um, anyway, I like the result. <laughs> so now I think, um, I think my face oil has sunk in. So now I'm gonna do my face, okay. Um, but one more thing I wanna say is um, this handle is very big. So um, it's fine for my hand, but I don't know if you have small hand, would you be comfortable with using such a large handle? So that's something to consider. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with this. So this is my foundation that I've been using probably over 20 years now, and I haven't um, changed. <laughs> um, it's L'Oreal True Match, and the number is 6N. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm basically just using foundation as like a concealer. So I just uh, put it over the um, red areas and the large pores areas. And I also um, just use my finger. When I do this, I like to thin it out with water. So I always have my tap slowly running. So yeah, I wet my finger. I don't use a lot. That's probably not for the whole face, or for the bottom part anyway. And then I squirt another one for the top part. I hope you can see this, guys. This is the second take. I already did one yesterday, but um, I didn't like how it looked, so I redid it. So now it's a little bit too um, dry, and it looks cakey to me. So um, I just put my finger under the the tap and then I just wet it so it doesn't look dry. I always have this um, on standby. Makeup wipes to wipe your fingers and also to clean my brush. Um, um, I'm about to do my eyebrows and my lash area. Um, so for that I need my reading glasses. This is a strong reading glasses stronger than what my actual reading glasses is so it's a bit like magnifying glass to me so i like to just check my foundation before i move on okay. um but yeah if i'm happy with this then i'm happy with the normal um uh, with my normal eyesight uh, the next thing i'm gonna do is put my eyeliner i'm actually using this waterproof tubing mascara as my eyeliner my mascara is by Wow Combo Cosmetics and the name is My Amazing Lashes. So, and I, I would use the one as a mascara and then when I want to use it as an eyeliner, I just use um, this flat brush so, and it works really well for me. I'll just get some up here. Not too much though. Uh, this is just to give illusion that my eyelashes is thicker. I was putting it from the bottom now, I'm putting it on the, from the top, still on the bed. So mostly of the mascara will end up in the, on the bed of my lashes and on the root part of the lashes, not on the tip. Because I don't want it um, fully coated because it will weigh my eyelashes that's already drooping down. So I don't want, it, I don't want to put any weight on it at all. Can you see? I 
Okay, now it's time to do the um, eyebrow. My um, pencil is very small now. The brand is Rimmel London. Um, it's called Professional Brow Pencil and the color is black brown. So I just draw two parallel lines going, going towards the peak or the arch. I like to uh, make my arch a little bit high just to give it a lifted effect. And then I make the tail and then I connect the bottom line with the tail. So that's basically the shape. And now you just fit it in. Just fill it in. Now I'm just gonna brush it. Connect the bottom line with the tail and fill them in. Hopefully this will match the other side. Right, so this is what the eyebrow actually looks like. Hope you can see it. It's close up. The last thing I do is put my lipstick on. First I put the lipstick, it's by L'Oreal Paris. The color is 305 Be Captivating. And my lip gloss is All My Gloss. I got these two from Priceline. The color of the lipstick is exactly the same as my lips. So I just give it a few seconds to dry and then I put the lip gloss on. Okay, I think my lips are dry now. So that's basically my makeup look. Um, I'm pretty happy with my makeup today. Um, it's very subtle, not very, um, it's not very strong. My eyebrows not as thick as yesterday's <laughs> eyebrow, so I'm happy with that and I'm ready to go now. I'm going to go to Office Works and then I'm going to go to supermarket to get some um, things for our big family dinner tomorrow. Um, we're inviting the kids and their partners, so Todd's going to cook them some garlic prawn dish. Oh, actually Todd's going to cook the same garlic prawn dish that I'm going to put at the end of this um, video actually. Uh, we like it so much we decided that we're going to cook it for the kids. See you later. Bye. Look, oh, my pig face is opening up. So cool. And it's not just one. Now we have multiple. In the past there's only one or two. This is what my iceberg lettuce looks like now. Um, I've been using the leaves a lot for my salad. I just use one or two in my salad. Yeah, it's good. Do you guys remember when I went to Malini to pick up my Monstera Deliciosa? Well, that's what it looks like. That's a new leaf just popped up. This is spring and we have another leaf opening up i'm happy that they're actually um, producing more leaves because i was worried because they look really sad this is the original leaves um that's not very happy when i transplant them but it looks like they recovered and they will be okay i think this is my lemongrass it's so happy look new leaves coming out yeah my lemongrass look so happy another sign that spring is here 
is when my cactus is blooming. Yay! Beautiful. Hi guys, it's been about four hours since I did my makeup. Um, so I went and did my errands and then came home and got changed. So I just want to show you how the waterproof mascara that I use as my eyeliner. I'll show you close up. So I have nothing on the bottom. And if you see, look, it hasn't smudged at all. So yeah, I'm very happy with um, using that waterproof tubing mascara as my eyeliner and the reason i really like it is because my eyes is not actually allergic to it i have used um, gel eyeliner before you know the one that it's like a pen but they tend to irritate my eyes um, but this doesn't and i have a very sensitive eyes so i'm very happy with them so yeah i will put the link in the description box below just in case you want to get it I can't even remember the name. I just put it off um, an ad that I saw on Instagram. So that's the latest update. Okay, bye. The weather is not very nice, it's very overcast, lots of clouds. But we're still gonna go for our walk. I'm working from home today, so let's do this.
Hello. Hello, what have we got? What's this? Hey, what's that? We need to buy two. <laughs> Oh, we need to buy two. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little girl. Look at that. Oh, she likes that one. It is long. Oh. I think because it's so fat, too. Yeah, Phoenix can't get her mouth over. River, River, Phoenix River. Phoenix has got it. Give it to her. Let her have it. It's okay. Run, run, run. 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 What's that, girl? What do you got? Okay, just put a fairly substantial uh, tablespoon of garlic in and I've put um, probably two good squeezes of, your, of the fresh basil in there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, mixed it all up, then um, some fresh virgin olive oil um, and it's ready to stir fry and go in. The, squid we've got once the prawns are just about done i'll put the i'll put the squid in with it and let that quickly cook mm. Mm. should come out good just to slap together i'm boiling some fettuccine and i also chop some freshly Sweet basil from the garden. And we're also going to put some crushed chilli on the food as well. And maybe some parmesan. We're going to have it with um, Adelaide Hill Shiraz 2012. Two shadows. Todd just asked me to thought out some extra sharp parmesan. I put this in the freezer. Oh, this one's got pecorino as well. Yeah. You know that. So I'm just going to put it on the plate so that it's pulled out quicker. That should pull it out by the time we finish cooking. I've assigned myself the the job to um, pour the wine. Ready to go. A bit more squid on there. More? That's enough. 
Okay. This is the good olive oil that we normally have with our sourdough from TK Maxx. Bon appetit! Mm-hmm. Oh. Yum. Mm. Mm. It's yummy. Bon appetit, guys. You could do a creamy sauce with this. Mm. Oh dear, what's that noise? Are you ready for bed? Are you waiting for us to come to bed, Phoenix? What's this? Oh, what's this? <laughs> You like him? Uh -huh. You don't have to draw compliment many people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mate, yourself? Are you ready yet? Man, I... I know we're a bit early. I want Kransky, actually. Yeah. It's supposed to have it, but... Buns in town. Yeah. What's up with the massive hot dog? Chips and wedges, just bought these from there. Two dollars out of everything you buy goes to the Paul Green Foundation, which is suicide prevention for men. Mm. Yeah, really good. That's that place there. Chips are really good. There you go, chips are pretty good. <laughs> Let's go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back
A spooky time <laughs> I'm actually a little bit annoyed that I didn't film the making of the cookie cups uh, maybe next time I'll do it on a separate video uh, I've decided that I'm going to create a decorative handle for these cups out of tiny teddies so I'm just shaving the biscuits so that it fits to the cup and now it's time to melt the chocolate that will line the inside of the cups I'm using dark chocolate. This is the first coat and I've decided that I'm only going to cover two thirds of the rims so that everybody's not getting a chocolate mustache. I've never made this many cookie cups before there'll be 14 people that's going to have this so I make sure that I have enough um, dough to make 14 cups so I triple the recipe but in the end I didn't have enough so the last four cups have to be a small size cups which is quite good actually um, it turns out to be pretty cute um, so that's the small one I was talking about so it's more like a piccolo size um, so yeah, I actually prefer the little one, but some people like the, the big size. Just a little disclaimer that I didn't actually invent this um, edible cookie cups. Um, I think I believe there is a coffee shop over in Melbourne, Australia that makes this. Um, so when I found out about them, I thought, oh, um, I would love to um, try it. So. Since I'm not in Melbourne, I thought I'll make it myself and it turns out to be not that hard at all. If you know how to make um, chocolate chip cookies, well this is just like that with a little bit more um, flour. Um, so yeah. As I quite often do when I'm doing craft, I get carried away. So. Um, <laughs> I decided to decorate the outside of the cups this time. I don't usually do that. Um, but it turns out pretty cute. Um, some of them I put chocolate chips or chocolate bits. And then there's coconut one. And then there's hundreds and thousand ones. And then some um, unicorn sprinkles as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm just having fun. After I finish all the decoration and everything, and then I realize, oh shit, now I have to carry this on the train all the way to the office. And when I mentioned that to Todd, he kindly offered to drive me to the office um, so that I don't have to carry all 14 cups on a train. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> After a busy day in the kitchen, we ended by watching a scary movie. It's called Devil in Ohio. 
So I really like this movie. I wish I watched it um, at Halloween. And the next day we had our face-to-face uh, -face team meeting. And after the team meeting, we had our Esprooki. And then there's a lot of people that bringing um, plate of food as well. So it turns out to be a quite a celebration. Yeah, I think it was a successful Esprooki session this year. <laughs> I just thought I'd quickly um, slot in this um, black and white portrait of Isabel that I did a couple of days ago. We had a long weekend for Queen's birthday. So I did this. This is my first portrait and I'm pretty happy with it. I have to say though, the mouth is so hard to do. <laughs> well, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching my video yet again. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!